Today marks the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month. You've probably heard the heroics of Jim Bowie and William B. Travis, who defended the Alamo. The lesser known story is about the six defenders born in Texas, some of whom are Mexican American. Eyewitness News reporter Troy Kless shares one descendant's journey to learning who his ancestors are. Texas history on display at the Benavides home. As a kid, George Benavides remembers telling his grandmother he was studying the Alamo in school. And she blurred out that, well, oh, my ancestor fought and died at the Alamo. Me being Hispanic, Chicano, Mexican-American, thought, obviously, as a fifth grader, thought, oh, for the Mexican side. And I said, oh, Grandma, for the Mexican side. She goes, no, for Texas. So we looked in his history book. So I told her she was wrong. She got very upset with me and told me that, no, the books are wrong. His Texas decades side. of research led him to the last name, Esparza, but hit a snag. A speech he heard on a family visit to the Alamo was the missing piece. The Esparza family, which was Ana Salazar, Enrique, Manuel, Francisco, Maria de Sousa, were the largest family to survive the Alamo, inside the Alamo. And I told my wife, those are the names I'm researching. The dots connected to Gregorio Esparza, a defender born in San Antonio de Bear, who stayed at the Alamo with his family until his final moments. When I realized that my um, fourth grade grandfather died there, that was the most, it was a very emotional time then. Learning he was a defender descendant was not easy, but he encourages others who are curious to take the same steps that he did. Research it, find out about it, ask, you know, uh, get involved and see if you can't put the puzzle together yourself. Because if you don't do it, who will? Although the books were wrong, it was only right for him to share his ancestor's story. Troy Kless, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. The Alamo Defenders Descendants Association has hundreds of members. You can read more about them and Esparza's story at kens5.com.